Have you ever wondered what the highest peaks on each of the world's continents are? Well, let me introduce you to the concept of the seven summits. These are the highest peaks on each of the world's continents. This fascinating idea has been the subject of much debate among mountaineers, primarily due to the two different lists proposed by American mountaineer Dick Bass and Italian climber Reinhold Messner. You see, the main points of disagreement stem from how we classify continents. Is Europe part of Asia or its own continent? Is Australia separate or part of Oceania? These questions lead to the two different versions of the seven summits we have today. According to these lists, our peaks are Kilimanjaro in Africa, Mount Elbrus in Europe, Denali in North America, Aconcagua in South America, Everest in Asia, Vincent Massif in Antarctica, and either Mount Kosciusko or Jaya Peak in Australia Oceania. Each mountain has its own unique story and challenges from the volcanic massif of Kilimanjaro in Tanzania to the icy wilderness of Vincent Massif in Antarctica. Join us as we traverse these mighty peaks starting from the lowest and making our way to the highest. Starting off our journey, we head to the land down under Australia. Here we find Mount Kosciusko standing tall at 2,208 meters. It's a sight to behold with its rugged terrain and panoramic views. However, a question looms large. Is it truly the highest peak in Australia or should that title go to Jaya Peak in New Guinea? Jaya Peak or Punkak Jaya soars to an impressive 4,844 meters, but it's located on the island of New Guinea, stirring up a debate. Each mountain has its unique features and challenges. Mount Kosciusko with its well-marked trails is a favorite among hikers while Jaya Peak, with its glaciers and steep inclines, is a mountaineer's delight. So, which peak is the true titan of the Australian continent? Well, that depends on how you look at it, whether you consider Mount Kosciusko or Jaya Peak as Australia's highest. Both mountains offer a unique adventure of their own. Next, we take you to the snowy landscapes of Russia, home to Europe's highest peak. Behold, Mount Elbrus majestically standing at an impressive height of about 18,510 feet. Nestled in the Western Caucasus mountain range, this dormant volcano is a sight to behold with its two summits, each possessing an enormous glacier. Mount Elbrus is not just a mountain, it's an adventure that beckons climbers from around the globe. Climbing this colossal mount is no easy feat. It demands strength, endurance, and a relentless spirit. Yet the reward at the summit is worth every challenging step. From the top, climbers are greeted with panoramic views that are nothing short of breathtaking. The vast white snowscapes merging with the clear blue sky creates a spectacle that's hard to forget. The mountain also holds a rich history and unique geological features, making it a fascinating subject for researchers and adventure enthusiasts alike. Whether you're a climber, a geologist, or simply a lover of natural beauty, Mount Elbrus has something to offer you. Mount Elbrus, a gem in the Russian wilderness, standing as Europe's proud highest. From Russia, we journey south to the heart of Africa. Here, standing tall at a staggering 19,341 feet, is Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest peak on the African continent. This majestic mountain is not just about height, it's a treasure trove of natural wonders. Kilimanjaro is unique as it's a stratovolcano that's not part of any mountain range. It stands alone, a solitary giant in the Tanzanian landscape. It's a mountain of many faces, boasting five different ecological zones. As you ascend, you travel through lush rainforest, heath and moorland, alpine desert, and ultimately the Arctic conditions of the summit. There are seven official trekking routes up Kilimanjaro, each with its own unique character. Some are steep and challenging, others offer a more gradual ascent, but all promise an unforgettable journey through some of the world's most diverse ecosystems. So whether you're an experienced mountaineer or an adventurous spirit looking for a challenge, Kilimanjaro offers a climb like no other. It's a journey through different worlds, each more breathtaking than the last. Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest, a beacon of natural beauty and diversity. Leaving the tropical warmth of Africa, we venture into the icy wilderness of Antarctica. Our next peak, Vincent Massif, stands as a silent sentinel in this white desert. Towering at a height of over 16,000 feet, it is the highest point in Antarctica. Yet its elevation is not the only challenge for the daring souls who seek to conquer it. 
The real test lies in the bone-chilling winds, the minus 80 degree Fahrenheit temperatures and the unrelenting snowfall. Climbers must also grapple with the isolation, the vast expanses of featureless white and the months of darkness that this frozen continent offers. Yet despite these harsh conditions, or perhaps because of them, Vincent Massif continues to draw adventurers from around the globe. For those who dare to ascend its icy slopes, the reward is a view like no other, an endless expanse of untouched snow under the ethereal glow of the southern lights. Vincent Massif, a solitary giant in the desolate Antarctic landscape. From the icy landscapes of Antarctica, we head to the rugged wilderness of Alaska. Our journey now takes us to Denali, the highest peak in North America. This majestic mountain, standing tall at over 20,000 feet, is not just a summit, but a testament to the raw beauty and power of nature. Its name, Denali, means the Great One, in the language of the native Koyukon people. And it certainly lives up to this grand title. Denali isn't just known for its staggering height, but also for its unique features. The mountain boasts a vertical rise of about 18,000 feet, from its base to its peak, which is greater than even Mount Everest. This makes the ascent of Denali a particularly grueling test of endurance and skill. Climbers brave enough to take on Denali face biting cold, fierce winds, and the challenges of high altitude climbing. The weather here can change in the blink of an eye, making the journey up this mountain an unpredictable and perilous endeavor. However, the allure of standing atop the Great One draws adventurers from all corners of the globe. The native Alaskan tribes have a deep-rooted relationship with Denali. To them, this mountain isn't just a geographical feature, but a spiritual entity. Their respect and reverence for Denali is a reminder that these towering peaks are more than just challenges to be conquered, but symbols of our planet's ancient and enduring strength. Denali, with its imposing stature and rugged beauty, is a testament to North America's majestic wilderness. This mountain, standing tall and unyielding in the face of nature's harshest conditions, embodies the spirit of adventure that drives us to push our limits and reach for the sky. Denali, a testament to North America's majestic wilderness. Leaving North America, we journey south to the towering Andes of South America. Here we meet Aconcagua a colossal giant whose peak kisses the sky at approximately 22,840 feet. This mountain is not just the tallest in the Andes, but also holds the title of the highest peak outside of Asia. Aconcagua is renowned for its unique features, including the Polish glacier, a popular route for climbers seeking a challenge. Another route, the normal route, is less technical, but requires resilience and endurance due to the high altitude and harsh weather conditions. This mountain is more than just a climbing destination. To the local communities, Aconcagua is a symbol of power and strength. It stands as a testament to the resilience of the Andean people who have thrived in this rugged landscape for centuries. Aconcagua, South America's highest, standing tall in the Andean landscape. Finally, we venture to the Himalayas, home to the world's highest peak, Mount Everest, a behemoth shrouded in snow and ice stands tall at an astounding elevation of 29,031 feet. This majestic giant is not just the highest point on earth, it's a symbol of human perseverance and courage, a testament to our relentless pursuit of the extraordinary. Mount Everest is unique in more ways than one. The upper part of the mountain, also known as the Death Zone, is infamous for its inhospitable conditions. Here the air is so thin that it can barely sustain human life temperatures can plunge to the bone-chilling extreme of negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit, making every step a battle against the elements. Climbing Everest is not for the faint-hearted. It's a challenge that tests the limits of human endurance, both physically and mentally. Avalanches, icefalls and treacherous crevasses are just some of the dangers that climbers face. The threat of altitude sickness and hypothermia looms large, making the journey to the summit a perilous one. Yet despite these challenges, hundreds of mountaineers from around the world attempt to conquer Everest every year. They are aided in their quest by the Sherpa community, the unsung heroes of Everest expeditions. These brave and resilient people native to the Himalayan region have an unparalleled knowledge of the mountain. They guide climbers, carry equipment and often risk their lives to ensure the safety of the expeditions. Mount Everest, the highest of them all, a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature. 
Its sheer scale, its unforgiving environment, and the challenges it presents to those who dare to scale its heights make it a symbol of human resilience and ambition. Everest stands as a reminder that even in the face of daunting odds, the human spirit can soar to great heights.